had this deep desire to do more with with clay and and the subject of pot not just make something which is functional which is utilitarian after earning my masters i continued to naturally work with clay but i challenged myself to continue to make the form of the vessel uh, but really tell a story So there's this body of work uh, that I created. Uh, uh, it was titled Harmonic Discord, and again continuing with the idea of opposites, right? So there is harmony, yet there is discord. I spend a lot of time away from clay, outside of the studio, thinking, planning, observing, drawing, uh, making notes, and then. far less a time to come and implement that and see what has happened so i very consciously stayed away from making anything large scale uh, or anything that i could not make with my own hands literally in 2013 i decided to make a installation uh, you know of platters uh, circle and circle it's a vessel form something that can hold very colorful extremely reflective surface a very glossy glazes and that marks probably the last of my major works where i have used the vessel form so the work titled terra geometrics is also part of the kiranada museum of art there is a, again a continuation of the round form which uh, comes back uh, from my past of a wheel thrown platter I truly believe that clay is the only media where you are immersed with the medium and you're forming the final work with that touch. The amount of uh, unpredictability or things that you cannot control in clay practice is is far greater. Every single time I put uh, a you know start a firing there's something that i've done for the first time and i'm as excited to see what does it what what will it result in you can over years uh, learn to perfect your craft as much as you can but there will still be a, a time when you have to take a step back and let you know the fire gods take over